Greetings from your brothers and sisters in Christ in the Kentucky Council of Churches. The Tree of Life is a reminder of God's intention to heal the nations. And the Council has been working on how Christians can promote health and healing through local service, through changed habits, and through efforts to increase access to health care. At our recent assembly, something happened that brought the work to life in a transformational way. We announced that participants could be filmed making any statement they wanted on this subject. Seventeen testimonials were offered, all of them unscripted. A young Baptist seminary professor shared his own story, a story that shows how unjust the current health insurance system can be. Um, uh, when I first moved to Kentucky back in 2009, uh, discovered that I uh, had cancer in my leg and I uh, had health insurance at the time through my employer and I uh, am grateful to say that I was able to have a couple surgeries, uh, some extensive radiation and uh, have been clear of that now for, uh, for three years. Uh, but in, uh, in the meantime, uh, it was a small group, and uh, our insurance went up for all because of me. Uh, they hired me, and then I uh, caused all the rates to go up. And so folks started dropping off to go to other plants. And I was left with not being a group and losing my health insurance when the company dropped out. And uh, I am a, uh, I guess what you'd say, a squarely middle class uh, worker. Uh, I work hard. My family works hard. and. Um, for a time, we did not have access to health in insurance, and I still uh, have been struggling with that. And so uh, it's near and dear to my heart uh, that uh, folks have access to health care. Many of the testimonials described efforts of the churches to improve health and access to health care for people who can't afford it. Through free clinics, health fairs, parish nurses, special worship services, and other means, congregations show a commitment to healing ministries. Sometimes, compassionate care for others leads us down a road of public advocacy in communities and state capitals. Church voices are important at those tables. The richest resources come from partnerships, and so churches need to be at the table of conversation in those partnerships. And this is where the role of the Kentucky Council of Churches is so appreciated. I'm grateful to the Council of Churches that they are considering the health issue and concerns uh, for all of us. And uh, it takes a, a body like this that has a, a little bit of oomph to uh, get legislation perhaps through. And, at the heart of this work is the transformational vision of health offered to us by Jesus Christ, who gave extraordinary attention to healing. And I like Jesus' health care plan. When people came to Jesus for healing, he didn't say, well, where's your insurance card? Can you pay the copay? People would come up to him like the leper said, if you want to, you can heal me. And Jesus said, I do want to heal you, be healed. And I wish that's what we would all do, not ask people questions that make barriers to their being healed and being helped, but just reach out to them with Jesus' love and Jesus' touch and say, I want you to be healed, be healed. Um, I think that if we should not be concerned about health care, that there wouldn't be all those stories about healing in the Bible from the Old Testament onward. I believe that our care and concern about health care is a matter of God's justice. So it becomes a social justice issue for us. We should be advocates for our people that they should have accessible, available, affordable health care to do anything less, we would not be faithful to our call and faithful to our God. 
Inspired by these testimonies, together we can increase the commitment of the churches at all levels to serve and to speak out. We follow the one whose mission statement was, I come that they might have life and have it in abundance. We can do no less. Thank you for all that you do and for all that your prayers will lead you to do. God bless.